You know, it was a great experience to uh, get this far. Uh, obviously, we knew that the uh, other side of the net was terribly talented, and um, we had to go out there and make some plays to just keep ourselves in the game. Uh, you know, we had a couple kids that, that performed very well at a high level. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have enough kids that, that were there for us to uh, put us in a position to put some pressure on them. Um, yeah, what is it that, that San Bernardino does that maybe sets them apart from some other teams? Everything. <laughs> you know, um, you, know you, you only get to see them coming from the East Coast. We only get to really see tape on them. Um, tape isn't the best thing when it comes to watching how well somebody serves. They, they serve pretty tough. Um, you know, kept us off balance, got us off the net. I mean, you, I think the stats speak, speak for themselves. You know, when we got in the system, we scored points. Um, and that's where we needed to get to, but uh, we just couldn't get there often enough. Uh, we're normally pretty solid passing balls forward and uh, let, letting our, our setter do what she does, but uh, we just couldn't get there enough today. Yeah, for the players, well, what did you think uh, just of the experience and, and being here? I know you didn't get the result you wanted, but what was it like to, to get out there and, and play for the national championship? Um, I, th I thought it was a really amazing experience. It's not something that everyone gets to experience in their career. You know, we're one of eight teams that made it here, and we worked really hard this season, just played game by game, and, you know, we had some losses, this being one of them, but, you know, I couldn't ask for a better way to end my career here at Molloy College. Yeah, you know, being a senior, I completely agree. Uh, it's literally, we were not expecting this my freshman year. Um, it's probably the perfect way for us to go out. It wasn't a great game, that last game, but being one of the top eight teams in the country is really rewarding. Both of you were part of that six-win team, is that correct, a couple yeah. years ago? Yeah. So <laughs> to see the coach come in and kind of rise, and what, what was that like for you guys? It must have been an amazing experience. It was. Um, you know, coming 6-24, and 24, it's very disappointing. And so him coming in, it was just a change of mentality, knowing that, you know, there's a switch. We bring in some new players who really helped us out. Casey Affronti really helped us out this year. Carly Banks returning from being injured. So it really turned our season around in our whole careers. I have to agree. Like Soph said, I was injured the sophomore year. I played my freshman year. But coming off an injury like so severe, um, I didn't even know if I could play volleyball again. So it was really cool coming in fresh slate and new players, new mentality, new energy. It was. It was really amazing, and just to make it this far in the past three years is just so special. Was there something that stood out that he brought, whether it be culture-wise or discipline-wise or whatever the case in turn? Was there something that you could pinpoint, like, this is what changed our program? I think we just kind of knew that, like, we had the talent, and it would be silly of us to just go out and waste it. And if we didn't work hard enough, then we wouldn't be here today. Like, we work our butts off at practice and he was a huge part of that he calls us out when we need to be called out he knows how to speak to each of us individually and he just really turned around the program for the better and it was something so special to be part of he definitely got us in shape that's yeah. for sure <laughs> that too <laughs> we ran a lot yes <laughs> so coach I mean you have your, these two players saying that they never dreamed of being, being at this point you came in and I know for a coach, the toughest thing is getting them to believe in you. And then here we are now. It must have been an crazy, incredible ride for you to see that. Yeah, you know, the, the goal is to, uh, you know, shoot for that championship. But, um, you know, it's very difficult to get there. A lot of things have to go right. And you got to keep people uh, focused. You got to keep them in line. And, um, you know, they, they like to wander sometimes on you. <laughs> and, you know, they, they have their opinions and, and they have their ways. And, you know, getting them to sacrifice for the person next to them is, is a challenge. And, and this group was, was ready for that challenge. Um, I, I honestly think that, you know, failing the way they did in that first season um, helped us get to where we got to because they, they decided they didn't want that anymore. Um, and you need that. You know, all, all you can do is go out there and, and provide them with um, a direction um, you know, I'm, I'm good with accountability. I'm, I'm good with asking them to be better, but they got to want it. And this group wanted it. They went out there each day. They, they found other kids that came into the program and, and taught them to want it too. And um, it's a rewarding experience. It's, like I said, it's something you shoot for, but, you know, to actually get there is, is truly amazing. Uh, last question for me. What do you hope 
the returners are going to take from this experience? Going into the well, you know, I, I really hope that they they understand how difficult it is, and that you, that you got to work. You know, you you cannot go rest on what these this group of seniors did for you, and and the other kids that did get to play. You just can't rest on that because that is not going to get you back here. Um, you know, we we want this program to continue to be successful. Um, obviously, at a national level, that is very, very tough to sustain, uh, especially for an East Coast team. But, you know, we know that we can go out there and compete on a regional level and have an opportunity to do this again. And that's going to be our focus. And, and you know, there'll, there'll be meetings, you know, in another week with, with the crew that's coming back about what we got to do moving forward because it's going to be life after these two guys.